Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Marquise. And your girl, Crystal. We're back with June's edition of More to Marriage. marriage. Okay, you all know we love marriage. Yes. Okay, now listen. Okay, this month, we're talking about two things. Number one, we're talking about the number one need of every man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the second video... Is the number one need of every woman. The number one. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. We all have needs, but we're men and women... It's different. We have different needs. And the number one need of every man is this. I don't care who it is. I don't care your background, how you're raised, none of that. The number one need of every man is respect. Mm. We need it. We love it. We equate. Tell us more. Tell Listen, us more. we equate. When y'all respect us, we equate that as love. She loves me if I am respected. As a matter of fact, as I was thinking about this idea, I thought about it and I came up with this concept. Men live where they're respected and rent where they're tolerated. They live, I'm gonna put my roots down, I'm going to invest, I'm gonna give my time, energy, money to places and spaces where I'm respected. But I'm only going to rent places where I'm tolerated, which means I'm not gonna be there long. I'm gonna I'm gonna not put my roots down, I'm not gonna invest much time. And even if I am somewhere and I have to be there, if I'm only tolerated, I'm renting that place. I'm not fully invested because we, we just need respect. As a matter of fact, three things happen when we don't have respect as a man. And maybe if you are uh, a wife, uh, a girlfriend, and you notice this in your man, it may be because he doesn't feel respected in a certain area. Number one, we feel stifled. We feel stifled in life. Stuffy. We feel stuffy. Like it's just, <laughs> it's just claustrophobic, yeah. okay? And we just feel like we can't really rise to where we're supposed to be, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number two, we have short responses. We're cold, short, don't want to talk ladies, long. You know we don't like short responses. Y'all can't stand <laughs> short responses, but that's what happens. And then lastly, we shut down. So we shut down, we feel stifled, and we give short responses because that's how much respect weighs on us. Yeah, but you know, there's another side to that. There's benefits. When you feel respected, yes. they initiate. Yes. And initiate well in all areas. Yeah. They feel adequate. It's kind of like we're we're watering our um, garden. Yes. You know, we're taking care of it. Um, and then also, the last one is they grow. They, they grow, grow to be the best self, that, their best self that they can be because yes. they find safety and respect yeah. in their home and from their spouse. And so I think that's the best thing, ladies, that we can offer to our husband. And what I love is you, Crystal, sets the atmosphere in our home for how I'm treated and respected by our children, by guests that come into our home. Crystal sets that atmosphere to say, hey, this is the man of this house and she respects me as such. But I love something you said as we prepare for yeah. this message. You talked about me not being able to find just like you can't be the source of that respect. No, because your source has to be from God That's first. Right. So as long as you know who and who you are in God, whether you get respect or you don't mm -hmm. get respect, it's not going to take away anything yeah. from you because you know who you are. That's right. But it's good when as a wife I can right. respect you and see the God in you, yeah. the man that God has, you know, gifted me and blessed me with to be able to encourage you to be your best self. Yeah. And so it need God needs to be in, in his proper position yes. so that you know who you are. So it doesn't matter what I do or not do, mm -hmm. that that won't take away from anything. Yeah you got going on Absolutely. so um, because we're not perfect human beings we're not going to always hit the mark right every single time mm -hmm. but if you put God in his proper position and then wives or your spouse second you know I think you have a much easier um, flow that's right so wives one challenging question for y'all is simply this what's one thing you can do this week to make your spouse your husband feel respected put that into action we can't wait to see y'all in video number two Peace.